when you're selling your camper or detailing your camper for your own use uh, I just came up with a few bits of information that uh, I try to follow uh, when I'm working on the camper uh, this would also apply to someone who is selling it I uh, hope these tips are helpful you probably know some of them uh, starting with number one um, I did a video on this thing right here but this is the this is what controls my antenna on the roof. Uh, it came without the crank handle. So all I did was uh, use the window crank handle. Uh, they come with a set screw. Uh, most of the di diameters are pretty close to the window crank. Uh, I got this at a discount house, so it cost me about a half a buck for this. Uh, so that's one thing the other thing if you're going to detail your camper uh, make sure all your knobs are tightened and all your hinges are I use WD-40 to lubricate the hinges it's nothing that bothers me more in a small area like this camper is squeaky hinges it doesn't uh, doesn't go well with me the other thing is, is uh, you're going to sell it might detour from your sale yeah okay uh, during uh, my last a couple of videos again before I talked about uh, the Dometic refrigerator freezer I'd like to elaborate on this just a little bit what I have in mind is the RM660 gas electric uh, refrigerator made by Dometic and the last video I talked about how to make sure it's locked in transit so you don't spill everything that you have in there on the floor uh, and also uh, you don't want your door flopping around because it'll dry it could bend it out of shape especially all your hinges so uh, on this refrigerator here uh, there's a switch uh, this one is at the top I don't know how long they carried it like this uh, the switch may be at the bottom uh, I don't really know if they still use this or not. I think on these models they do. But uh, you want to use your refrigerator, just uh, slide it to over open, and simply the arrow means that it's locked. Okay, now inside of it, you kind of want to make sure that uh, you don't want your air or your cold air to uh, escape, but you also don't want warm, warm air coming in because warm air coming in can cause a freeze up in your freezer also uh, it can um, uh, mess up your, your your refrigerator and freezer has you know ability to, to function so that's one thing uh, the other what happened I, like take for instance what happened to me is that I did build up in mine and a big chunk of ice and it melted and it I unplugged the trailer and left it uh, for the winter uh, the water dripped and totally destroyed the lower drawer which I'm working on to fix right now so that's one thing the other thing is to make sure your seal is adequate um, they say to put a dollar bill and try to put a dollar bill through it and if a dollar bill passes between the refrigerator here and this gasket, then you need a new gasket. This is a magnetic gasket. And mine's in pretty good shape, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I do, well, my problem is, is I, I do need a freezer gasket, and that's probably how the warm air um, came in, caused my problem. There's also a lot of videos on how to uh, adjust the store if you need to and I can't really get into it right now I, I really I don't know how to do it I mean I would have to look on the internet to see but uh, that's that now moving on to the bathroom uh, little tiny spaces here like this corner I used a q-tip to clean the accumulated dust the dust and dirt but something in a bigger corner like this or say a corner uh, 
in your floor on your floor. Um, you could use something like electric tooth a toothbrush or electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrush uh, brushes are really cheap now. They're around five or six bucks. You can pick one up and can really help clean things. Oh, uh, that's probably about it. I can't think of anything right now. If I do, I'll put it in another video. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, we're just cleaning this up and we're trying to get ready for a camping trip. So. Until later, thank you for watching and subscribing and for your comments too.